thing we're going to do is, uh, let's imagine that I have a sentence, like, a, like a, I have a string, um, and I want to count how many capital letters there are in, uh, in, in that string. I'm going to use static methods because I'm too lazy and I have only 20 minutes. Um, Inside the string, I'm gonna I'm gonna do if uh, if the character is between A and Z. That's ac that's actually wrong. That's that's not how you check if uh, if a letter is uppercase because that that works only for Latin letters. I'm gonna make what's the uh, I'm gonna make the counter. So here we declare, uh, we, we say uh, what we want to do, and we say how we want to do it. And if I execute this method, uh, I'm going to do um, count of my statements. Should give us, I think, three, three. actually go to the Let's see if my code works. Building is kind of slow. Oh yeah, it says three. Now let's do the same thing with with uh, with the string API. We're gonna add one letter that says L with lambdas or whatever, and we're gonna do we directly uh, say what we wanna do. So I wanna return an integer, and then I wanna start with the input. Then I wanna say, give me the stream. Uh, most of the times, this method is called stream especially with collections, but with strings it's not. I want to filter, we'll see how that works, and I want to count. So I want to count the results. So how am I going to filter this? Let's zoom in a bit. So for every character, I want to do this. And there's an error because it returns long, so I have to change <coughs> So that's a lambda. If I, let, let's see if it works. So I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna add one letter L, and I'm gonna build it, and then we'll see what I just did. Okay, one shortcut, it says true, so it's working. So what I just did here is, I created a, a actually, let, let's, Let's, let's create the same thing. Let's export this as a variable. 
I'm going to use a shortcut extract variable. And it says, OK, I'm, I'm, I'm Im implementing an interface. So that's, that's what I just did. Uh, I implemented this interface with Lambda. Let, let's do the same thing without Lambda. So we're going back to Java 7. And we're saying P2 equals new. And it's going to say, you want to implement this interface. It has only one method. Um, <coughs> and want to return, um, I have it as a live template. It says uh, C is missing as a variable. I change it. So these two things are the same thing. So lambdas are a short trick, short, shortcut, or a, a syntactic sugar that allows you to write, to implement interfaces that have only one uh, method. So we don't want that. So that's how it goes. This is the same thing. This is, the, uh, this is the parameter, so it's actually something like this. And here, if we have two statements, we can say return. And this is what we want. And if we want to do something like this, statements, you need curly braces. So it's the same thing. If I re if I have only one statement, I can remove I can remove the statement. So I can remove the return. It's implied. I can return I, I can remove the curly braces. And how does it know that this is an integer? Because I said so. Because it's in here. If if I do something like this, uh, and you even do this. Uh, I can do something like predicate. Predicate is a, a function. We can check how this is in, uh, what is imported. So we can go in. Uh, on the integer. And I can see the integer. And I can see the same thing here. And I can import it. So this is the same thing, but this time, this is an integer. I cannot say, uh, uh, no, not here, sorry. Place. If I say int here, it's not going to work. It's going to say uh, I, I cannot use this lambda because I expect integer. And because of generics, uh, these things are not the same because because of type erasure. So I want. I, I want to ask Oracle for <laughs> to fix the generics and to uh, go to, uh, to to remove that region. So if I go here and I want to use this predicate in, in my function, where's my function? If I want to use the P2, it's going to say, no, no, that, that doesn't work. Wait, where's my integer? It's going to say P2 doesn't work. Because, because the stream is the stream. The, the stream that I'm getting is an in stream. If I can, and I want to, to change this, I can do map object. I can say that for each integer, please for for each base type, I want to return integer value of. And this changes my whole stream from uh, the primitive type to the object type. And now I can use p but I cannot use uh, predicate. A predicate is not A shortcut to this thing is saying box. Box will return a, a stream of integers. So it's the same one. That's, that's how we use um, lambdas. Lambdas are just a, a trick that allows you to implement methods with these interfaces. Another thing that you can do is, uh, I'm going to go back to P2. Another thing you can do is you can P inside the stream. So for debugging, that's really cool. Peak doesn't change the stream at all. You can do something. It, it expects a consumer. A consumer is another interface that, that doesn't have a return type. So, so for every 
integer in, in there. That's uh, now that's this is the object type. I want a system out print line, all of them. But not only that, I'm gonna come here and remove a couple of empty lines. And for some reason, that's not working. I remove this for you, so we can see better. Okay, now I can remove the empty lines. Um, let's see. After I filter all the capital letters that are in here. So I'm filtering, and I want to print out what's going on. And uh, I'm going to say, OK, print me the input. How is this working? How am I accessing something? Like, this is an implementation of an anonymous class. How am I accessing a variable that's outside of my implementation? How is this working? Anyone? Uh, back in Java 6, you had to do something like this. Now you don't have to say final, but if you change it, uh, it's gonna say, it's gonna give you an error. It's gonna say, uh, I was expecting, should be effectively, uh, okay, if I move this somewhere here, should be effectively final, so I cannot change the variable. So this is not legal. So essentially, I have written final, but I didn't say it explicitly. I just I just cannot do something like this. So I cannot do this. So if I write something like this, I'm gonna print out all all the, the, the letters that are capital. So if I run it and if everything is successful, it's gonna say, okay, it's printing numbers. No, I don't need numbers. And if I run it again, which is gonna take a second. I broke something. Oh yeah, this is uh, invalid because this is the the, the, the the integer type, and I cannot cast the integer class to to a character. I need to get the integer type and then cast it. So if I run it again, it's gonna say H S and H, which are the only capital letters in our thing. H S. I make an R class. And Let's imagine we have some old code. Let's imagine I have a couple of things. I have interface. I have an interface that says uh, is integer. And then I have an interface that, that I have an implementation that says uh, is in and uh, taking a character says what are, what are the, the characters between these two characters. And I have the implementation, so I have these two classes. Single method, very simple. And I can execute this. I can I can have a class that is. Uh, I have a I can have a primitive, uh, private uh, static method that is. That says print characters. And I take I take a string input. And I take take a chooser. A chooser filters the characters that I wanna I wanna I wanna print. So what I can do is I can do the for each here. So for every character that is uh, ring, so yeah, I'm making a mistake. For every character, I want to do if is in if uh, chooser is in character. I want to print out two characters. So I'm going to system out print one to see. My long sentence, and then I'm gonna. So I, I can do this, and I'm gonna do these characters, and I'm gonna get the sentence, and I'm gonna give a new what's called uppercase chooser. So I'm giving an implementation of this of this interface that is here. The implementation is here. So it's very simple. And if it works correctly, it's gonna do the same thing that the last demo did. Print these two capital letters. Now let's imagine that's some old code we have, and we, we want to migrate to Java 8. What we can do is, since there is only one abstract method here, we can use Lambda. We can say for, for each C, do 
uh, we are at great is between A and B. And that's what it's doing. So if I do this and I, I run it again, it's going to give me the same thing. So the lambda, they don't need to be in predicates. They can, do, they, can be, they can be applied to any legacy code that you have. So for example, this is legacy code. This is not Java 8, just, just as uh, a simple interface. If I add another abstract method, it's not gonna work because lambdas can implement only a single method. And you can go, you, you, have, to, you have to go to uh, default methods or our, uh, uh, other ugly stuff that's doing very, very good. So I can do something else that is something like this. I can say, okay, I want to do, uh, I want to get all the, all, the, all the characters that are between zero and nine. And I can do something else uh, entirely in a uh, small uh, lowercase letter. Okay, let's let's make sure that this is this is really good. And let's make sure that we will uh, extract a variable, um, and we'll change this because this takes a chooser. Let's write another. Let's um, copy it. So we are rewriting this code to become Java 8. So we'll have the same method that will take an int, an int predicate. Uh, wrong place. That's gonna be an int predicate. Where am I on the caps lock? I'm gonna change the name to predicate. So that is in method is now missing. So I have to do test. That's part of the int predicate, that's part of the Java. And now it doesn't know what to do. Which one of the, those two methods it needs to call? So I need to say that this is an int predicate. This is not a chooser. So now it's working. If I'm not using this, this thing anymore, if I have already fixed all these implementations, and I'm not, not, not using this class anymore, I don't need them. I don't need this model at all. I'm going entirely to Java. And what I can do is, this is not a chooser now, this is an int predicate. And I, know, I don't need to cast anymore. But now I want to make something far more better. I want to, because these things are entirely uh, similar, I want to create something complicated. And I'm going to make it. A function that returns another function. So I'm going to create a higher order function. So it's going to be a spy function. Now that looks a bit scary. Don't be scared. So it takes two characters. It takes a character, it takes another character, and it returns. What does it return? An end predicate. So it's going to be is in range. Sounds scary, don't be scared. So we take two values, that's the range, A and Z, for example, and we make like a range. And then, here's our function. For any C, return uh, C bigger than A, or equal, and C lower than A. So we can remove these brackets. And now we have a function. What I did wrong? What did I do wrong? Well, no, no. If you have two parameters, you can remove these brackets. So I have I have two parameters. That for them, I return a function. So I return an int predicate. It's actually an anonymous class. Inside of it, there's another implementation of another anonymous class. It's not that scary. So instead of this. I can do is in range, and I can say apply capital uh, letters. And, uh, I don't need this anymore. I can do a couple of things. I don't need this one, and I need the numbers here. And I can another one. 
difficult, but well, I imagine that nobody knows that. You know, like in so that's that's how we can create a, a, a byte function that returns other functions. You can take functions as parameters. You can take uh, this is actually an impl implementation of uh, of another function. We can have a function here. We can have a function here, or we can return a function here. So <coughs> that's how lambdas and the Dream API works. And I think I'm right on time. Any questions since I, I'm, I'm looking at the big clock over there that says uh, I'm, I'm almost out of time? Uh, you can you can you can find me and ask any questions. I have enough time. Okay, if you have any questions since I was doing this pretty quickly because it's a 40 minute presentation and uh, we didn't have time for for most of it. If you have any questions about lambdas or stream API, you're open to asking questions. Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll ask him first. You can, you can go with it. Uh, okay, you go. Some of you, no one there was raising hand. Okay, so any questions? Okay, go ahead. Uh, are you using this on production somewhere? Am I using this on production somewhere? No. Because you asked us. <laughs> no, I'm not using this on production somewhere. Because uh, the issues, if you talk to a DevOps guy, uh, so a guy who's running, I don't know, like uh, 20 different servers, they say that um, Java 8, the JDK, is, uh, the Oracle one, is pretty slow, between 8 and 25% uh, percent penalty, performance penalty over Java 6. And uh, the Open JDK is even worse. So the DevOps guys are not gonna use Java 8. So if you, if you write this code and give it to a, to a production guy that has it deployed on the server, they're gonna say no, 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 no. Even the, in the, in the IntelliJ idea says we, we are not using Java 8, because there, uh, there are a couple of bugs and we cannot make sure that the, the ITU is gonna work uh, flawlessly. So they wanna switch back to Java 6. So in a couple of months or a year, it's gonna be far more stable, I, I hope. So it's gonna go, it's gonna go. Oh, your pardon? Uh, yeah, we have to go back to the DevOps guys. I, I didn't ask any questions. I asked for the tests, and I'm gonna run the test myself, so I'm gonna publish them. Oh so yeah, thanks. What was that code points message? Code points is actually uh, in in most in, in most uh, <coughs> collections. If I have a list of strings, uh, if I have a list of integers, and That's the same method. It's actually uh, the, the, the strings, they, they return the stream in two, in, in two different types, one is the code point. So it takes two, uh, if a character, because if you want to hyphenate the character or want to put under, something under the character that's in Unicode, code point get, gets these two characters and transforms them into an integer. So it depends on how Unicode works on the strings, but that's why it's called code points and no strings. And no strings. Okay, thank you guys.